Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong, and welcome to the back office teardown lab. Look, it has arrived the O Droid boards. So, I thought I'd just do this very quick video so we can have a look at the old O Droid boards. 10 from PCBWay, and you can see the box quite clearly. The PCBWay, and it was amazing. This thing came insanely quick. I think I like ordered it on a Friday, and it arrived a Tuesday. That is crazy. That, I mean, I, I, I tell you what. That's not ordering expedited service or anything. That is just basically their regular sort of delivery schedule. So look at that, 10 boards there. And we're gonna, I'm not gonna take out all 10. Let's not make a mess of them. Now, this, the funny thing is, it's, I've ordered them and they've arrived so quickly that I don't even have the bill of materials ready. However, I still have my Odroid handy. So at least it allows us to eyeball this up. But. <laughs> Again, amazing. They've really, they've really sort of beaten me to the punch now with that. But look, woohoo! That's kind of like what it's going to be. And see if I've got some pin headers. So I don't have the right kind of pin header, but let's just do a uh, spacey thing. Now the Odroid actually did come with these uh, pin headers, but we're going to need a different style anyway. Although if you do have only the flat pin headers, you can probably just about solder them on edge like that. You see, you don't need a 90 degree pin header. If you want it to be flush, you could just use them like that. So let's poke that through and just check the fitment. So if I'm gonna, I'm gonna fit it this way as if we've just had it that way. Ah, actually, that might be a way of uh, doing this in the future. Maybe the next iteration, I'll have it just sitting straight off like that. With just the, uh, jack there because I mean we kind of designed it so it sort of sits like that so you can see all the goodness but maybe that's a better fit altogether look just straight in mm. I mean this is something you can certainly adapt because um, I think the DC jack uh, sorry the headphone jacket that we've uh, fitted on here is currently the 2.5 mil so I'm going to be replacing that with the 3 anyway I might be able to make sure it's dual footprinted so I can sit on this side or the back so you can have either the board sitting like that with the headphone socket where my finger is or put it on the back with the headphone socket again where my finger is but on the back. Mm. So all that uh, I need to do now is wait for that bill of material. So you can see it's either going to look something like that when fitted which I think is absolutely brilliant. That's going to work well. And and the but bit you know this one's a bit more funky because it's a bit like a marquee you know and it's sticking out like that but it is more susceptible for getting busted I should think and it is uncanny how I chose this sweeping arch like that that is so simpatico simpatico with the top of your O droid but yeah so stay tuned we're going to be making this um, and this is the v1 board of course I'll be making a v2 anyway I can guarantee you that because it has been asked to put a volume control so this is one thing that we need to consider if we fit a volume control on it and we fit it like that we have to be careful with the placement of our volume control so it doesn't get jogged of course this way a volume control is easy you just have a, a volume control there so yeah we'll work that out don't worry about it but if you want to stay informed of the developments of this thing, please go onto my Discord. If you want to support the channel and support future boards like this or future variations, please uh, consider going onto my Patreon and uh, giving me a little bit per month that uh, will go towards all sorts of projects like this. As ever, thank you for watching.